Gillian Dixon. John Major's calling for urgent talks in the Middle East to end the evening crisis. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and PLO leader Yasser so Arafat blame each other. A man's died after he fell. Not a bad day. Uh, there we go. Was it the say another day, another dollar? Oh, the rest of it. <laughs> Off easy to get parked here, that's why I can't you know. Now then, whoever got here. Thanks, that's Dennis. lovely. Bye bye. How are we all? Good morning. Morning, darling. Are you okay? I'm oh, fine, thank Awful you. Awful nice to see you. Awfully nice to see you. Is everywhere. Nobody's pleased to see Scotty McClure. <laughs> Come on through and sort yourselves out. Absolutely no problem at all. Lovely place, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. Now I'll have to just uh, go and get myself papers if you want to come this way. La 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 la. Morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, here we go. Lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. There's maybe something to read in the studio during the programme, you know. Very nice. You've do you see when everybody's bored in the back side after you with a chat? <laughs> right, let's see what's going on in here. Ah, authorised persons only. You to watch yourself. Open up, it's the big man. There we are. Final hour of Scotty McClure's phone in live on Scott FM, the big station serving Central Scotland. Now, John, are you there, John? All right. Hello. Is that you, Scotty? Aye. Uh, Who I'm did you first, think it is? I'm a first caller. Who did you think it was? The man in the moon? No. I'm a first caller. You, I bet you were sitting up watching the eclipse last night. No, no. <laughs> We've got the camera crew have just come in this morning, you know, and one of the lashes has got a cold. She says, I hope I don't give you it. I says, I hope you don't. Because I have to do the, the theatre on Sunday night. Aye. I'll let you take it slowly with you. I've, I've sussed this. Aye, You're okay. not blessed, are you? What? You're not blessed. Oh, well, one thing was I. You were blessed. Oh, well, Can I wear off a wee bit now, is it? No. What? It's wearing off a wee bit now, though. Yeah. Wearing a wee bit thin. Aye. Eh? Sure enough. You take your time, son. The near rush. The prize Aye. is a two piece jigsaw, and you can refer to the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All you public school boys are the same. Oh, I don't think that. Oh, come on now. You went to one of these big fancy schools, didn't you? No, I did not. Yeah, where you wear your gowns and everything. No. You've got a silver spoon clamped in your gob. No, I did not. Eh? I did not. <laughs> did I did not? You go and take your pick. You can say yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I have. You cheered me up. That's all I say. You've cheered me up. I've cheered you up, son. Are you OK? Aye. Aye, fine. Taking care of yourself. What was that anyway? Uh, single parent stuff. No, I don't know. All that stuff, aye. Well, it wasn't single parent. Really. I thought, you, thought your brain, I thought you traded your brain in at the Sunday market. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm just going to phone Scrying McLean. I'm just going to hang my brain up. Didn't stay in the mood. Whatever. It's <laughs> all <laughs> so that, isn't it? Listen, you do me a favour. What? You stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Aye, nah. very well. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Right, Jamie, are you there, Jamie? Time caller. You're joking me. No. Nah. Why, well, you sound like an old salt to me. An old salt? An old salt? No, no. No, no. No, no. Weekend off my work today, Scotty. A weekend off your work? Ah, uh, the September weekend. First one since you started, eh? Ah, uh, first one since I started right enough. You uh, enjoy it? No bother. No bother, eh? Ah. Uh, well, it's been worth having this conversation, because uh, you're... I'll uh, talk to you again, Scotty. Well, you're a very switched-on man, so I'm looking forward to it already. Hey, brother. Missing you. Right. Missing you now. Cheers, Scotty. Cheerio, bye. Caroline? Hi, Scotty. Try it again as a wee peck in the cheek, at least, eh? How <laughs> 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 you doing, Scotty? I'm not bad, darling. Yeah, I did. I woke up yesterday at the did end of your programme. Uh -huh. I did. I don't remember you. Are you yeah. down in the book? Let's <laughs> see. What time did you phone? Okay, it was at the end. It was about three minutes to twelve. 
3 minutes to 12. No. So that would be 11.57. It would be. No, there's nothing doing here, but maybe the love of the lasses switches could, could have full ourselves, you know, just because it was near the end. <laughs> 11.57. Oh, here it is. I've got you down as Carol. No, it's Carolyn. Carolyn. Uh, just If you can just bear with me a second, darling. You don't have to check, Scotty. Why? <laughs> it's all right. Well, I thought you were worried about whether you were on or no. No, I'm not worried. You knew you were on. I knew I was going to be on. Well, yeah, I'm checking through everything too and you're no bothering. Well, if you have to. Eh? If you have to. No, I've checked there. I've, I've, you're no bothered. I'm fine now. Could you tell me what it was in connection with then? No, I just wanted to say hi -as. Oh, that's why it'll know be down then. We don't record hi -as. Do you not? No, 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 no. It's all just subjects. All oh, right. You know well, what I mean? You know what I'm saying to you? Right. Okay. Oh. I am indeed. Aha. Uh -huh. I am indeed. You don't take your pick either, you know. Uh, no, I'm not. Right. I wouldn't be on there anyway. Would you not, do you? No. Why is that? Do you always say yes or no? I do. You do? Yes, I do. Oh, yes? Oh, what a shame. She's had to go. Susan, darling. Hello. Hello. Um, it's about your article in the paper today about the bints behind the wheel. The bints behind the wheel are a nightmare. Well, I, I think, in my opinion, that men are worse drivers than women. Well, your opinion doesn't account for anything. Well, I can tell you this for nothing. I'm a better driver than any guy or any rubbish, woman that I know. Rubbish, you think you are. You're a nightmare. In fact, the very fact that you're on the road, I might send my licence back to Swansea. And this thing about looking in the mirror, I can tell you what men do when they're in the car. Can you? Yep, they're, they're either sitting picking their nose picking or they're their look, nose. Very looking funny. at women with Listen. big tits look, walking along the road. Right, well, look, I'm telling you, you know, if that's if you think well-endowed women, you're a wee bit jealous there. I suspect oh, you're, a wee, bit, is? Is you're right? a wee bit on the tiny well, side. Well, they don't even need to be well-endowed for them to look at No, that's a lot of rubbish. It, men concentrate. No, I, do you know that I actually pulled up beside a, beside a woman? Do you know what she